What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people, Harry Heaven here, and welcome to another episode of Chitter Chatter. Now, I'm going to do another list. Five films, movies, TV series, comic book, book, franchises. Five franchises basically, that I want to see return to the big screen. Roll intro. Get a chatter. Chitter chatter. Right. For some time now, us geeks, nerds, fanboys, fangirls, we have been treated to a massive mountain of nostalgia. Now, um, I mean, for some time, I'm talking. Batman Dark Knight coming back so Batman came back we've had Star Wars Star Trek Ghostbusters Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Power Rangers there's a new Pokemon movie coming out next month guys come on how well have we been treated now I want to give you my five franchises that I want to see return to the big screen or a little screen, I don't mind. It can be a TV series, as long as it's got a big budget, like Game of Thrones style budget, or Walking Dead, something big. But, let's break into it. Number five. Willow. Any of you guys remember Willow? Willow. So, May 20th, 1988. It was a story by George Lucas. And it starred Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis and Val Kilmer. Now, I watched this film so many times as a kid. Absolutely loved this film. It's an amazing fantasy film. For those of you who haven't seen it, it is a really good fantasy film. It's got pixies, it's got evil queens in it, it's got sorcerers, it's got warriors. Uh, it's almost like a typical fantasy film. It's it's a typical fantasy film <laughs> that's basically what it is it's like a fairy tale like Brothers Grimm sort of fairy tale uh, fantasy with monsters and sorcerers uh, it's about a child that was found uh, float, I think floating down a river and they say this child the child's destined to destroy the evil queen or something and become the good queen of the land by blah, blah blah that is found by Warwick Davis who's a little farmer in a village uh, literally, quite literally little I didn't mean it that way but <laughs> yeah uh, he's a little farmer in a village uh, they're all little folk there like, like hobbits sort of thing they are and he takes the baby goes on a quest to take the baby to someone who can take care of the baby and it's all about a journey like any fancy film but there was never a Willow 2 I never understood that the first one was so good I loved it so much never a Willow 2 why not why never a Willow 2 I just don't get it but come on guys all this revitalising that's going on with all the new films coming back again, all the old films coming back but new, redone, second ones. I just seen Blade Runner 2049. Second one, it was a brilliant film. Absolutely amazing. The storyline was still good. Come on, there's some good story writers out there. Let's get these films brought back. So that's number five on my list. In at number four. The Fifth Element. Oh, what a film. Now, Fifth Element was the 7th of May 1997. It was an English language French film. It was directed and co-written by Luc Besson. Now, Luc Besson, probably you know him from things like, at the time, it was things like Nikita, uh, I'm sure, was it Taxi he did? It was, I'm trying to think now. It's definitely Nikita, uh, I think it was Leon, Portrait of a Killer, something like that. Uh, but Fifth Element, really good. He also, oh, he did uh, Lucy. It's the most recent one he's done. Uh, the sci-fi film. Fifth Element. <sighs> Boy, there's nothing to say bad about it, I don't think. Absolutely love the world. The visuals were amazing. Storyline was great. Little creatures are in it were amazing. Actors in it as well. How good were the actors? Bruce Willis. yippee ki mother. Yeah. yippee ki eh? Beep, beep, beep. Just beep out everything else I said. I didn't say that. <laughs> Yippee ki yay. Uh, Gary Oldman. To me, he's serious black. <laughs> uh, Mila Djokovic. Resident Evil. Another good franchise. 
it's ending though. I still need to catch up on the last couple actually. I haven't watched the last couple of. Uh, I was said Evil Dead. I don't know why. My brain was seeing Evil Dead, but it's Resident Evil. I haven't seen the last couple. Uh, I will have to catch up and watch that because I did enjoy it at the time. But let's get back to Fifth Elements. Uh, oh, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker in it as well. Chris Tucker from Rush Hour. Yeah. Uh, I love this film. Again, Corbin, Dallas. What a character. Really enjoyed that. Kind of reminded me off um, Bruce Willis' character in... Oh, what was it called? It kind of reminds me of the character he plays in... Die Hard. <laughs> you have no idea how long it took me to think of that. I have no idea. I was thinking Lethal Weapon. I was like, no, it's not Lethal Weapon. That's, that's Mel Gibson. I was like, what is the name of it? But the character <laughs> Bruce Willis plays in this film reminds me of the character he played in Die Hard, but in a futuristic setting, which is absolutely amazing. Love that film. And I would love to see it return to the big screen. But that is number four on my list. Let's get things rolling and go on to number three. <laughs> Rain of Fire. Now, this was kind of hit and miss by a lot of people when this film came out. So, July 12th, 2002, and I remember going to see this in a cinema, and I think I was excited, but then, I mean, those of you who haven't seen it yet, Rain of Fire is a post apocalyptic film with dragons. Dragons! Now, I mentioned this before. I'm sure I've mentioned it in a few, in a few of my films, so a few of my YouTube videos I do. So, anything with dragons is better. <laughs> you cannot have introduced dragons something and make it worse, unless you have really, really terrible CGI. In which case, I suppose you could. Yeah, oh. yeah, you can. Oh. <laughs> but Reign of Fire was, it's a really good story it was. It was um, a little bit, Story could have been a bit better, I think. Uh, I think it could have gone a bit better. It did. There was like dragons at the. I think at the beginning they tried to introduce. I have to watch it again. I'm sure they introduced it as they eat ash, which so they burn everything, and then they ate the ash, and then towards the end they started eating each other because they're cannibalistic. And it's like, but they weren't burning each other. They were just eating. I was just like, oh okay, this is. So they can eat meat. That makes sense for dragon for me. But anyway, I really enjoyed it, and there were some good actors in that. I mean, at the time they were up and coming actors, but actors in that. So you had Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I can never pronounce his name right. Every time I'm like Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey. I have to look it up every time. I have to Google it and find out how to pronounce his name. I don't know why. It's just all these names I can't pronounce. It's such a simple name. Uh, now in that, he he was buff. Dude, worked out. Check it out in that. I mean, he really worked out. Shaved his head that he did as well, so he's like a bald head big muscles he was he was ripped in that he was uh, you had Matthew McConaughey in it you had Christian Bale was in this film. yeah that's right Christian Bale was in this film uh, you had Isabella Sk Skorotka Isabella Skorotka Skorotka Isabella Skorotka I think I think it's how I pronounce it um, now I don't really know for anything else I know she played a Bond girl in Goldeneye, this Goldeneye she played a Bond girl in, that's really all I know about her. And you also had Gerard Butler. This is I like a lot from Gerard Butler in it. I think my favourite one of his is Hash Training Dragon. Can't beat Hash Training Dragon. F closely followed by Bale from Grendel, because Bale from Grendel is a really good film. If you haven't seen that, you guys should check it out. It's a good version of tell. But, uh, yeah, Rain of Fire, what, I mean, what more can I say? Dragons. Post-apocalyptic. I say it again. It's such. A, I love post-apocalyptic. Post, blah. I love post-apocalyptic films. Okay, Mad Max style films. All that is brilliant. But introduce dragons into it as well, and it's just absolutely amazing. I would love to see that franchise actually take off and, and do a few more films about it, uh, make it more interesting. Just people surviving in this world filled with dragons, and you have like the Matthew McConaughey type figures who are. Travelers, in a sense, they had, he had a tank and a helicopter and all sorts of a big convoy, big American convoy, so they can like tra they travel around like Mad Max sort of style. And uh, then you had the Gerald Butler and Christian Bale, who were just 
holed up in a castle somewhere they found to try and defend themselves and it is quite interesting and I think there's a lot that can be done with that that sort of world that was created and I'd like to see it revisited and hit the big screen so that is why that is number three so close to the end and now I was really debating which way around to do number two and number one it might even change but at the moment numero two number two this Judge Dredd. Yeah, I am a big Judge Dredd fan. Judge Dredd first appeared in 2000 AD comics and Judge Dredd. This is Judge Dredd. I've got so many of these books. Uh, that's the Judge Dredd Mega Collection. Uh, I didn't collect it all, which I'm really gutted, but it's very pricey and I had to decide what to buy. Um, but I really love the Judge Dredd stories, and of course from the from the comics you then had the books. Uh, the books from the comics you then had the films. 1995, Sylvester Stallone. I am the law. <laughs> uh, it's a good pleasure of mine. I actually really like that film. I like the visuals in it. Uh, Rob Schneider was in it a bit too much, I think, but he was funny still. I did enjoy it. Um, I enjoyed it. It was very Hollywoody. It was very family friendly, not not very bloody at all, not very violent. <laughs> uh, but I really enjoy. I did really enjoy it actually. It's a good pleasure of mine. But then you had the 2005 Carl Urban. Spark, we're trying to save you, Judge Dredd. Dredd. Now this to me is what I pictured Judge Dredd actually being like, and I absolutely loved that film. It was extremely visual extremely bloody, extremely gory, extremely violent, but it's how I pictured Judge Dredd and I absolutely loved that film and I thought there was going to be more, I really thought there would be more, I mean this was 2005, now we're in 2017, almost 2018, I thought by now we had, we had another one, I'm not sure, I have to look at what happened, I don't know if it was a flop in the box office or a box office bomb as they call it, or what happened, I, I really thought they would keep going with this franchise because it was such a good film and I want to see more. The Carl Urban version, and I really enjoyed that. You introduced Mama. Now, in the Judge Dredd books, there are so many characters, and it's, there's a lot of gang wars on it as well, but so many different storylines they can pick and choose, and every single one of them would be good. I mean, and Judge Dredd, in the comics, he ages every year as well. It's not like every other comic in the world where people stay the same age from, from when the first comic was released in, like, 77 right up to nowadays the character stays the same age and are constantly in high school the whole way through uh, you know this is Judge Dredd ages in his comics which is really interesting and I really like the comics I like all the stories that I've read so far I say so far because I haven't read all the Judge Dredd I've read a massive proportion of it but not all of it it's really good and I'm surprised it hasn't come back to the big screen because that was a good film. Both of them were good films, really. The Sylvester Stallone was very cheesy, but I still enjoyed it because it was Judge Dredd, and that's what I wanted to see. I'd like to see more like the Carl Urban style. Uh, maybe they can cut down the violence a little bit to make it a bit more PG, right? so uh, family friendly. Maybe that will make it better. I don't know. But personally, I say keep it as it was. I, I enjoyed it. I'd like to see more along those storylines. Even if you get another actor, I I'm not. I'm not fussed. I like Carl Urban, I think he could do play it well. I'd like to see him back in the role again. But I'd like to see it as a franchise. Keep going, keep, keep doing some more films. If you start doing bad films, then stop. I mean, don't, whatever you do, don't do a Starship Troopers. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> that that's number two on my list. And now we go to the top of the list. Number one on my list. Conan the Barbarian, or Conan the Destroyer, Conan the Slayer, Conan the Sumerian. There are so many different names for Conan. Now, I absolutely love the Conan stories. So, Conan was created by Robert E. Howard in 1932. That was very shiny. As you see, this is quite a big book. This is the complete works. So, 1932 by Robert E. Howard. Since then, he's gone on into books. 
you want to, books, well, he was a books, but there has been other books written about him. We've got comics written about him, and TV, films, there's so much for Conan. And I love the world that he created for Conan the Sumerian. It's a prehistoric world, basically, and he is a barbarian living in a prehistoric world. Um, depending on which stories you read or which film adaptions you read, his father was a chieftain and he was the next in line, or they just wiped out, or he was enslaved. There's lots of different versions of it, but it's about it's an action adventure. It is a fantasy action adventure, which I really enjoy. All the stories I've read, uh, I like the kind of stories. A lot of snakes in it. His main name just seems to be snakes. <laughs> Uh, but you had from Conan, you had obviously the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right, everyone. Uh, Conan, he, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger made two films actually. So you had Conan the Barbarian in 1982, and then you and that was so good. It followed up with Conan the Destroyer in 1984. Uh, very certain Red Sonja was part of the Conan universe as well. I'm not sure when that's released. I should have looked that up before I did this. But that was no good film. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed them. I did. Uh, uh, it was where Arnold sort of made it big, really, from Conan it was. And then you had the Jason Momoa version, the 2011 film. And this was a box office bomb, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, I did. I think mainly because it's the Conan world and I wanted to see more stories about Conan. I wanted to see it revitalised and keep going. And it's Jason Momoa. It's Jason Momoa, guys, come on. He's good in everything. Um, <laughs> I first liked him from Stargate. I watched him in Stargate, Atlantis. I absolutely loved that, I did. Um, but the Conan universe, to me, is just so good. I like the whole prehistoric age. It's not... It's a fantasy. It's, it's not realistic, <laughs> really. It's a fantasy world, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a fantasy world, and I absolutely love this world. I love the stories. Uh, I love seeing how Conan adapts and how he survives and his adventures he went on absolutely loved it and I would love to see it come to the big screen but guys this has been my top five franchises I want to see come back to the big screen so have I missed anything let me know what do you guys think did you agree are they good five franchises come back would you like to see them back have I missed anything is there anything you guys would like to see come back comment down below uh, I'll always get back to your comments and guys if you have not subscribed hit the subscribe button and once you've done that, hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload. I upload my unboxings a few times a month and the occasional vlog here and there and this chit chat show I will try to do fortnightly I'd say. I'll go fortnightly. I would try to like do it weekly but I'm pretty busy so I'm going to try for fortnightly chit chat shows. But that has been this episode of Chit Chatter. Five franchises I'd like to see rebooted. So like I say guys, comment down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Come on, let's get discussion going. But, till next time guys, take care. <laughs>